just to start the stream so you can imagine in what uh, situation we are here right now. What the hell was that? I don't know what the hell just happened there. It's just like Chuck's. There you go. At least I got my. Chris? After the pos <laughs> That's what happens after the possession ends. Yeah, random stream. Uh, I, I got to play this game a very little, but I gotta say I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, game's called uh, Final Vendetta. It's a beat 'em up, very similar to uh, you know Streets of Rage or um, more Streets of Rage-ish uh, than like uh, Final Fight. But um, but yeah, so I got to play a little bit. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the uh, 
this continue here so it kind of shows um, the, the three characters. So you, uh, you get a girl, right? Then you get this big muscled guy with a with a with a with a mullet, and then uh, you get the uh, like the uh, average guy in there, um, and uh, the the uh, the average guy reminds me of Axel from Streets of Rage. Uh, the big guy, I'm guessing, is probably. Well, you'll know. If you know anything about Streets of Rage, then you'll know what's up here. So you see what's going on here in the beginning. So this is a little bit different. With this, um, they they uh, capture. I didn't catch it fast enough. I'm guessing that I didn't read it enough. I'll have to read it again. But I guess they uh, captured like her sister or something. So it's not like the typical dam damsel in distress. Well, she's a dame, so I guess she is a damsel in distress again. But but uh, it's yeah. Oh, <laughs> whatever. All right. So yeah, I like this here. So, uh, this is why I wanted to wait for. His <laughs> So he's like 45, 6'2", brawler. Final vendetta. Oh, for freak's sakes. And this is why I like <laughs> stepping on people on the ground. So you know me, I always usually start with the uh, with the females in this. And um, when I die, I will switch to another character. A rat there. So like I got this on sale and uh, right now it's still on sale on Steam. Um, I played it, uh, you know, once before the stream. I got to stage I think two or something. And um, Pigeons eating, eating the pizza. I like this. Like they don't even have these things anymore. And if they did, they sounded more like the ones in England.
Got this cat licking. Hopefully not its butt. Watch here. Oh, what? Oh, she does the same karate move? These guys are, they look like they're big bins, but they're not big bins. I don't see them uh, bouncing around. They do more shoulder attacks. I gotta get some health, man. Ah, got a coke. A little bit. I'm gonna cut ya! So the game I think originally cost like 25 bucks. Um, would I pay $25? Well, let's put it this way, and maybe it's because I may be a little cheap. But uh, but I I, w I decided to wait for the sale, which was uh, what like 16, 17. Oh dang it! Now I get the turkey. Might as well get the... Here's the first boss. Can chain attacks with this. Well, I kicked his ass. I didn't even die. Uh, I got killed, but not by him. Oh, got an E though. But it was better than the last time I played it. Oh, the one time I played it. So like, um, I mean, if you're really into beat em ups, you know, it's up to you if you decide 25 bucks is worth full price. But for me, I just kind of waited for this for the sale. Now I will say that I never had the sale before, and I've had this thing waiting for probably a year. So they don't come around very often. And I think it was 65% uh, off, which is the one and only time that I've seen it on sale. So, that's why I got it. Because, you know, I was just like, well, I have a lot of beat-em-ups, and I do love beat-em-ups a lot, but I was like, is this game going to be as good as Streets of Rage 4? You know, because Streets of Rage 4, I think, cost about the same price, like 20, 25 bucks. And, um, for me, I think this is n not quite the caliber as Streets of Rage, but it's also not bad, you know. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I like the uh, retro feel to it. And uh, they do have a way to, uh, like I have the sh this shader on. You, you can turn the shader on or off. You have full screen, which mine is on, is off for streaming purposes. Um, stuff like that, so that's kind of cool. She does a Hadouken move. Kind of like what, um... Yeah, I need that so bad. She's using a, cr a cricket to, to attack with. So yeah, this is definitely in England. Because I was going to say, the the, tele, the telephone booth sound, sounded like, um, sounded a little not a United States look, you know what I mean? And it's like, well, how do you know that? Well, I know what those, um, those look like, those uh, telephone poles. Or not telephone poles, sorry. To uh, phone booths. Sorry, I'm trying to fight and stay alive while Because <laughs> uh, if you, when you die a certain amount, you do start over in the game. Oh, my hand itches! There you go. Oh. Oh, that's quick. That guy's doing a really bad low kick. Oh, and I changed my controller, actually. Oh, I forgot there's blocking him. Yes! Full me, baby! Pick it up! Got full health now. You do get one-ups too when you get when you um, get enough um, enough points you do get one-ups. There's a lot of people here right now. Get freak out of here. Ah! You top of me! And I'm freaking dead. Like you get a bunch of people, you die really quick. And you got that guy jumping around throwing knives at me. Kind of reminds me of si I think it's Sigil. Or no, it's not Sigil. There's a guy in Streets of Rage uh, that throws knives like that. But he's like, kind of looks a little bit like a real skinny. Um, So this guy did not beat, so maybe I'll beat him this time. See, so yeah, like I said, chain attacks are so, so important. No! Man, I was hoping I would finally beat that dude. Well, son of a bitch.
All right, well, I got a little bit, a little bit better. All right, so now that I died, let's go and, um, there's Ron out there. So now let's go and grab another character. the second one. Now I've never played as him before so he's a little faster kicking. I'm going to try and see if I can walk up there. She's doing, I forgot she does that. Yes, now I got the. Oh, the turkey's not full health. And there is nothing here. Alright, now, boss. So far, no deaths. Ouch. Death. 
Jeez, I'm getting my ass kicked. I mean, this is normal mode, or this is hard mode, by the way. Just so you guys know. There. Okay, I have three uh, three health or three uh, lives left. Don't know how I got an extra. Must have got an extra life somehow. Still got a knee though. Cause I, or cause I died. something. I think all the bad guys are white people. <laughs> oh, no, here you go. There's a... Okay, there you go. I was going to say, like, uh... Jeez, I'm going to butt kick. He's doing the same freaking attack every time. Cheap ass mother... Man, I gotta use the I gotta use the blocking of this more often. Pick up the freaking damn things, motherfucker! Oh man, why am I sucking so bad? Probably because my eye itches. That was a waste of time and effort. Why did I do that? So what? Sure, a lot of punks. I think I have one life left too. It sucks. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this. <laughs> yeah, I only got one life left. And I got it, so yeah, definitely just one life left now. <laughs> this guy's there. I need a life. I'm in bad shape right now. Ah, I didn't even make it to the second boss. Okay, so... That is terrible.
Yeah, that's what I was. <laughs> I suck. Alright, now let's try the uh, third guy. King Mullet. He walks pretty fast. He also does a forward flip too. I don't think Hagar even does forward flips. Damn bunny. Damn. Um. Wait, what the hell? Oh, that was a nice attack. And I got full health back, or I got full, uh, oh, ho, ho! that was dope. That wasn't even a, uh, that wasn't even a super move either. I want hair like that. I want Pete to have hair like that. <laughs> I want Pete to dress like I want him to have the, the mustache and the hair. <laughs> Chupacabra! What's up, man? Playing this game. Um, Final, Final Vendetta. It's on sale on Steam. Dang, he just threw his ass. He's definitely, he's probably the best character. I was expecting him to be slow, but he moves around pretty fast. Oh, this So is Chupa, what else is going on with you, man? Getting close to your bedtime, isn't it? Oh, he's using a reverse hand with the blade. That's kind of nice that he's that he's doing it that way. You don't see that. You don't see uh, a lot of uh, beat em ups where they they uh, take a <laughs> I like his I like the way he talks. Get out of my face. Wow, I guess I'm dead. Backbreakers, though, man, like interesting enough, uh, the character says he's uh, six, 
that he's 6'3", which is one inch taller than my my height, which lets you know that the size of the average sprites on here are like uh, five feet tall. <laughs> Right now I'm not concentrating and getting killed a lot. Who's next? Another E. Oh, this is also, um, yeah, this is on hard mode. There's only hard and easy though, so, so I mean, you can call it normal, I guess. I haven't beaten the second boss yet. on the spot is oh okay so now you're a kung fu master too Game though, you can play with a friend who doesn't have it, I believe. Oh shit. I took the, the, the health by accident. That sucks. Well, F you twice. God damn it! This is fucking bullshit. These little pains in the ass guys with the knives are just... You can't get around them. chicken yeah I'm on bed He's unblockable. Man, I need another body. I need another, uh... almost dead again. I hate to say it, but it sounds like the female is the best one here for me to play. Because at least I get to the, uh, the second boss. Oh, I got one left. Life left. Okay, cool. 
Oh, now I get freaking steak. Great. God damn it. They make it a little too easy grabbing the uh, the meat, man. They make it way too easy to grab the meat. Yeah, that's I can't I don't like that. Like like they make it way too easy to grab the meat. And um That's that's not cool. Um versus Does this mean a fight? Oh. Versus. I want to see if, uh... Oh cool, it does have a fight, so you can fight each other. That's kind of nice. I didn't know they did that. Oh wow, you even get like other weapons, dude. It said punk! <laughs> I'm making it so easy. You're making it so easy. So it does take energy from you when you do a do a uh, super without having the super energy. Really uh, hurting him too hard with the uh, with the uppercut there. Like that uppercut barely hurts him. And let's do a. Um... Oh, that's a pretty cool thing you can play uh, with each other. That's kind of that's kind of nice. All right, let's try training for a second. So clearly, uh, I'm the best with her. Oh, I guess we can get other characters. Look at all these. Oh wait, hold up. Choose your opponent. Oh, okay, so I... That's cool, so I can actually practice with him. And I just come back to life, right? Yeah. So it's basically like you're practicing boss battles. And uh, it, in the, in the uh, fight stage, they do turn off the lights on you. Looks fun, though, yeah. Walking looks odd. Well, I mean, it reminds me of uh, S Super Nintendo when it comes to walking. I don't see him getting actually hurt. Ah, there's a Hadouken. It's 
So yeah, that's the Hadouken there. Oh, he's now actually getting hurt. I, mean, I guess I killed him because now he's uh, back. Oh, he picked me up and... Yeah, so like I said, uh, it's not the caliber, it's not the same caliber as uh, Streets of Rage 4, but it's better than Streets of Rage 2. Um, but again, Streets of Rage 2 is, you know, 30 plus years ago. <laughs> so, I mean... But yeah, I mean, if you get I, getting it on sale is like I said, it's kind of rare. I've only seen it on sale once, and that's when I bought it. Because normally it's like twenty five bucks, which is kind of expensive for this game. Because uh, Streets of Rage Four, I think at most was like twenty to twenty five bucks uh, with the DLC included. So for me, I feel like yeah, that's a little bit too much. They should have done like maybe 15 um, for normal price. So I waited till it was on sale. It finally went on sale after a year, and um, and then um, yeah. All right, uh, let's do a new opponent. So I guess I can't see the other characters until... Oh, he even has uh, regular folks in here too. Look at that. Oh, hitbox on. Nice. Look at that. It tells you the hitbox. Kind of cool. It does a hitbox? Wow! It also tells you where the explosion goes to. I don't think I've seen a game that does that kind of stuff, where it does a hitbox and everything. That's kind of unique, especially with a beat 'em up. Kind of gives you an idea of the range of the uh, attacks. You know. Oh dang! Oh, he helped me. disappearing when I knock them down and you can kick people when they're on the ground too yeah 
Yeah, that ex that bomb does a lot of damage. So yeah, she's basically my character, I think, now. P would love the, uh, the big guy. He always loves the big guys. I'm doing some pretty good, um... Uh... Yeah, man, I don't think I've gotten hit really once yet. couldn't run away. Man, these little bitches. I couldn't get out of there. That's not what I want to do. Man, all these goddamn goons around here. Oh, 
Look at all the damage you get. Did you get all these goons in your fucking way? Look at that, I just lost another life. This is bullshit. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I should have beat him no, no less than one death. And I lost two deaths. Fucking garbage. Excuse the little swearing, but, you know, that's just how it goes. I love the sound effect. Ooh, missed me on that one. I need some health. I need some health. get to keep the weapon, but nope. That's bullshit. And again, not pissed. I end up picking up the health by accident. I should be using jumps more, but I haven't been. Ooh, I forgot. I didn't know I could do that. Cheap ass mofo. Dang it. 
Okay, so he can run that way now. Diagonal. That's nice. Man, I don't know how I did good enough the, the very first time and the second time I got to the second boss, but now it's like almost impossible. Ugh. Anyway, same spot. Actually, do, 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 do. I'm just looking at some other games I have here. See if it'll turn on. This guy, wait, wait for this to turn on. I check out uh, I don't have that game do I I mean I didn't think you sent it to me I'll go look though again GAL uh, I don't have that game man the only gal I what the fuck was that the only gal I have is gal guardians since I have a key Let me go let me go look it up here store Galaga or Gallic G A L Gal uh Galac Gal A C Okay. Oh.
Okay, here it is. All right, so let me bring over this so you can see what I'm seeing. Okay, this is being dumb. Switch to the other one. There we go. Okay. All right. So, uh, rated everyone ten and up. Yeah, it's a it's a side uh, shooter, right? Galaxy. I got like it reminds me of um, a never-ending loop. Because I have those, dimensions. I have games like that. In our reality, he was only gone for lunch, but to crash, it was twenty years he was trapped in the void. No! We'll use the void as a shortcut to a. You and me now, kid. You gotta kill the Baron as many times as five. Your specialized loadouts, you where you and your friends can throw your worthless bodies onto the growing pile of the Void's victims. Online leaderboards let you compete against other pilots across the world to see who can survive the longest against my endless hordes. Remember, in the Void, victory oh, so is impossible, like and nothing need, but um, the sweet sting of death. I mean, I could be a bit if that sounds her, abusive, we've added our arcade mode. Allowing you to checkpoint after each mission for a here. less murderous experience. Okay, Pity. full controller support. In any case, we'll see That's who gets good. to Earth first. Winner takes everything. Toodaloo! Okay, well, I can play it then. Yeah, it's got full control, so I can play it. Well, yeah, I could play it if I had it, yeah. Uh, since I have a key... key code... Oh, I mean, you don't have to. But yeah, I mean, uh, I think I would play it, yeah. I like games similar to this. Rated everyone, 10 and up. Yeah, you need dual stick, that's what I figured. Uh, but, but I use this thing now. Uh, I just uh, I started using my uh, my PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, I like using that more because um, there's no cable in the way. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> I am very sorry about that. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, I use a PS4 controller now, and I use that with the PC. Um, it yeah it's it's had an up it's had some updates with Steam and it works really good now with the PS4 so um so yeah I just use that I don't use the uh, the old thing I had was a uh, was a was an old three an old Xbox 360 uh, and it was corded but yeah I I, I used to play uh, dual um, dual sticks because of, um, well, actually I could, sh I could, um, let's go to, uh, let's go to, see what we have here. Um, Okay, uh, I mean this isn't quite the same, but like I've got Raiden Four in there. Um, I mean I have a lot of games, man, but I don't keep them all here because I don't have that much hard drive to have that much in one spot. Um, let's go to main actually. I probably would have to reconnect my my controller on here though to do that I will contact you on Steam soon for the code like soon as in today or because I mean if that's the case then yeah I can I'm pretty sure I can download that pretty quick I got good internet 
And if that's the case, also thank you very much for that. It's very kind of you. Um, let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh yeah, so I have to find. I have to. First off, I need to turn on a game. Oh, so you can see what I'm doing. I'll go ahead and turn on the display here. So yeah, I'm gonna turn on the um, turn on the computer. Turn on. Uh, we'll just turn something on. I'll bring it over there. Okay, move it back then. Very well. All right, so let's go ahead and... God, I haven't done this in so long. I'm going to have to remember this. Okay, there's input. Let's first pause this. We'll pause it with a P button. Now, input. So we'll do input general. Um, oh, I have to use this. Input general. Uh, and we'll do uh, this here. And then let's go ahead and um, enter up, of course. Hold on. Okay, now it's now it's back to pairing again. What an asshole! All right, so this might not work out. Keyboard up. Let's just go up just so we know what we're doing here. Let's go back down, go back up. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So that's what I was afraid of. Um, with MAME, I cannot use this controller on here right now. I probably will have to uh, use like. Um, uh, key to to key to pad or whatever the software is called if I do it that way or I could just use my my uh, 360 but or actually hold up ha <laughs> ha I do have this and that would be perfect because this is designed for retro games let me check it then you can write it down and Send it through Steam Chat. Okay. No, Ron, don't you dare. You know that's not for that's not for Ron. No, that's not for you. You don't chew on that. That's that's an expensive controller. Naughty boy. Okay. All right. So uh, now that I have this, let's. This would be perfect, actually. This is best for. Uh, for MAME anyway. Because, uh, yeah. The downside is, is that because it's MAME, you can't really do uh, two joysticks, though. Which, that kind of sucks. Uh, but I don't do a lot of two joystick stuff anyway. Uh, let me need to write it down and give it to you on Steam Chat. You should be able to. Steam Chat should be still lot still on. Uh, ah, fart knocker, friends. There you go. Let's see here. So, I mean, what's the point of doing this? Uh, well, I guess since I am already on there doing it, let's just get get over with. Um, uh, of course, because because I got that far, I have to. Well, aren't I? A, aren't I? And then he. Sometimes you have to turn stuff off and turn it back on again, which is a pain in the ass. A pain in the ass. All right. Back to Mame. Okay, um, not this game, I want, uh, general, right here, okay, let's see if this will work, hey, okay, it's working now, that's what we want, I mean, I was going to do this anyway, but,
Let's see here what we got. Um, <laughs> got one, we got two. That should be good, right? All right, I'm gonna see. Um, feels kind of quiet though. I can't even hear this thing. Kind of seeing where all the kicks are. Get off me. All right, looks like you got something. I'll uh, look at it in just a second. Well, that's that's weird. So I'm just seeing how the uh, controller is designed by. It's why I don't care if I die or not. So yeah, I'll have to look at that. Okay, let me uh, come back now. Yeah. That'll happen to MAME. Alright, go back. Alright. Oh, thank you very much, John Doe. Let me go ahead and do that right now. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Um, I need to switch to. Let's go ahead and turn that off and keep the uh, PS4 controller because that is designed to work with uh, PS uh, on Steam. And uh, now it seems to be working pretty well. Um, doo -doo 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 Let's go to store. Go to activate the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. What the heck is this? And it's free? Okay, let me show this real quick. This is this is ridiculous. Look at this. Murder, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. And it's free. Uh, what is this? We have to see what this is. It's like a mystery. <laughs> he's dead. Looks like he's just drunk.
It's actually a Sega game. Why would they kill their main IP? Why would they kill their main IP? Why would they do that? Okay, we definitely have to download that, man. I mean, come on. That is too much. Like, yeah. Uh, I yeah of course of course we're gonna download that how long how long is that uh, this space is not even a gig so yeah let's go ahead and download that now while I go uh, install the other thing that you got for me Chupa um, Okay, let me go ahead and uh, switch this to off here. And here's the code. All right, so with this, it's uh, 2.7 gigs, so that shouldn't take too long. It says about one minute and 20, and, uh, 20 seconds for, the, for it to download. You gotta love, you gotta love that part of this, uh, being able to do that, you know what I mean? Well, James Bond is dead. <laughs> So yeah, let's uh, take a more more look at uh, Sonic here while we're downloading. How interesting is this? I also need to change my um, my uh, All right, so I'll be back shortly. What is this? Why do I have two of them? Oh, that's NES. Turn the NES off. There you go. Yeah, I'll be right back as well um, while this downloads. It shouldn't take too long. I just need to do something anyway. So uh, we'll do a BRB. Right? Wrong answer, man. Show up. <laughs> Wanna see more? <laughs> have to watch the rest of this stupid movie to see how it's gonna end here take control those aliens are masters of disguise the Use it. not your typical video game huh you call that shooting better pay attention those aliens can look like anybody your brother sister anybody hungry ground zero texas only on sega C. Yo, listen up. Do you know what my friend here just called you? <laughs> he called you a glass jawed, bird neck, no jabbing wimp. Oh. You gonna take that? Step into the ring. Not your typical video game, huh? Stick him, Jack. Move. Come on. Right. There you go. Left. Hit him with. Uh -oh. Prize fighters only on Sega CD. Okay, he takes back the bird neck part. Take it Introducing Battle Tanks for Nintendo 64. Explosive tank action for up to four players. Battle Tanks. A bear. 
barely alive. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. We can make him stronger, faster, softer, better. The new battle tanks, Global Assault. Stronger, faster, better. Magnavox presents Odyssey, the electronic game of the future. Odyssey easily attaches to any brand TV, black and white or color, to create a closed circuit electronic playground. Odyssey gives you all the exciting action of hockey and 11 other challenging play and learning games for the entire family. Odyssey, a new dimension for your television. Now at your Magnavox dealer. He's listed in the yellow pages. Atari introduces the woman of the year, Ms. Pac-Man. With a style of entertainment that Pac-Man never knew. An endless supply of floating goodies, oranges, pretzels, four different screens, each with different exits and entrances. And the green screen so difficult to reach, you may never see it again. Don't you know? from his Pac-Man. <laughs> I found the way to the gold. Bit fooled by Activision? Quick, to the Atari video computer system. Uh, here, show us. First, yeah. climb down the underground passage. Oh, yeah. Leap over scorpions. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Swing over the swamp. Claw to die. The gold. Ah. <laughs> Did I mention the targets? <laughs> Pitfall, a jungle adventure game designed by David Crane from Activision. They think I'm trapped, but I'll escape. Tunnel Runner, the new video game where you don't look down on the maze. You're in it. Monster! He's smart, I can't outsmart him. Oh, he's fast, I gotta be faster. Tunnel Runner, with RAM Plus to mega charge your Atari VCS for three times the excitement. Right, left. Better check them out. It's the exit! To another maze. Tunnel Runner, from CBS Electronics, where the excitement never ends. I'm not trapped. Well, I'm not trapped. Worry. Solar Fox, the new video game where speed and strategy are all you have to fly through 26 changing solar fields. And if you're really fast, awesome. you'll skip ahead to even tougher fields. Really cool. Solar Fox from CBS Electronics. Can I drive now? Where the excitement <laughs> never ends. This is the Arcade Experience. We're ColecoVision, and we bring the Arcade Experience home. With arcade graphics, like Donkey Kong with multiple screens, just like the arcade game. Arcade controls, joystick, fire, and jump buttons. Arcade games, like Turbo, Cosmic Avenger, Venture, with 15 screens. And Saxon, games that let you have the arcade experience. Now you can bring the arcade experience home. Because your vision is our vision. ColecoVision. of radar blips. Every blip is a ship. What is this? I got this guy. On a body snatching trip. And it's up to Defender to save them. Defender, a great Atari game. Have you played Defender? It's the newest of the smash hit home video games that just keep coming. Only from Atari. He's better than me. Have you played Atari today? It's Donkey Kong, the arcade sensation, and now you can play it at home. Hang on, sweetheart, I'm gonna save ya! Now you can play Donkey Kong on your ColecoVision, Atari VCS, or in television video game system. Donkey Kong has multiple screens, just like the arcade game. You're not gonna stop me, you stupid ape! Play Donkey Kong on your ColecoVision, Atari VCS, or in television video game system. Don't worry, darling! I'll save ya! Help me! 
the revenge for your Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get the, uh, the game situated here. There we go. Of course, I could do no cam actually, and then I could just remove that and turn on the uh, turn on this instead. There we go. All right, so here we go. Now I have it ready. Let's uh, get some water. All right, so uh, this one's called The Void. Uh, I hope I chose the, <laughs> the right stream because um, there's a whole bunch of Gallic Zs. So I hope I grabbed the right one, but First off, I like the very beginning of the game. Actually, um, it starts off. I wonder if I can. Wonder if I can turn it off. I wonder if I can actually start it again. Let's see if I can do that because that would be so cool. And of course, the PlayStation decided to turn off the PlayStation controller. Decided to be an a-hole. Okay, uh, let's go back. Let's see here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Wonder if there's a way to. I'll do a quit and I'm going to come back in because you guys got to see this. Pretty cool they did it. Alright, so let's see what happens. So let's go ahead and kick it off again. That way you guys can kind of see the beginning of it. Look at this. It's kind of cool. Kind of reminds you of, uh, of uh, arcade games. You know, when, they, when you turn on the uh, power. So yeah, I own this game. It's been ages since I've played. It's got it. It's but it's all right. It looks pretty. Looks pretty good. I like the. Um, every time I turn stuff off, though, the PlayStation controller does that to me. Come on. There we go, now it's back. Okay, um, and it's being a butt again. What the hell is going on? Certainly it's not, certainly the power's not dead. Okay, maybe the damn power's dead. Uh, I'm gonna go bring this in. Ugh. I mean, I have been playing it for almost two hours and it's an old controller, so. Put the charger in here and hope that does the job. Okay. There we go. All right, we're back in now. I got my uh, my controller uh, cable on here, so all right, let's go ahead and play now. No missions, no checkpoints, no mercy. We'll do arcade first. Turn up the volume a little bit. I can't hear anything. <laughs> I love that. Not 
nothing left to lose now. Kind of has a beautiful, a beautiful show. Uh, what's the name of the uh, game? Beautiful Joe. It, it has a beautiful Joe feel to it. They're so proud of the name. Try junking. Okay. X Squadron, report in. Y Squadron, report in. Anybody? Here, I'm here. Identify yourself. ATAC. ATAC? Loud, yeah. Your launch ship's intact. Where's the regular radio op? No, it's gone. I'm in a Galak S fighter, Kurokawa ship. He got hit before they launched, and I'm as good as gone. I've got a dead stick. ATAC, I need you to concentrate. You're the last fighter left. Cycle through your systems. Let's calibrate that steering. I'm going to have you aim at the targets. A Wait, what's this controller bullcrap? Aim down. Just point the stick in the direction you want to aim. Good. Aim up. Just point the stick in the direction you want to aim. Aim at the next target. Okay. Good. You're calibrated. Test fire your lasers. Working. Check your forward thrusters. Thrusters, good. Looks good. Remember, steering and thrusters work together. Now, your reverse thrusters. Yeah, got it, got it. When using thrusters, a faint blue bubble around your ship shows the distance enemies can hear you. Looks like your controls are working. Oh yeah, coming back online. What happened? The Imperials, the Baron's entire fleet. They were waiting for us, hammered us the moment our fleet came out of warp. I don't know how I managed to get us out of there. I don't know if anyone else made it. Okay, I've got a read on your signal. Your, uh, ATAC. I need you to listen and do exactly as I say. It's bad, right? I mean, th there's no way that doesn't mean I'm screwed. Well, you're in a narrow band of asteroids surrounded by Imperial Dreadnoughts. Those rocks are probably preventing them from scanning you. There's a gap in their coverage on the far side of the belt. Make it there and I can warp you back. First, I want you to head to this large... All right, so I have to turn up the vo I have to turn down the volume. So give me a moment with that, because I don't want to blow your eardrums out. So let me take care of that real quick. Right, should be good now. Asteroid. It seems to be hollow. You'll be able to use it for cover as you fly through it. I've marked it on your guidance system. So just follow the targeting arrow. Okay, voice on the radio. I guess I'll trust you. This voice on the radio is Beam. And I'm bringing you to the science vessel Axelios. Okay, Beam. Here's to hope. Let's make sure your boosters are functional. Just hold down boost. Whoa! Watch your engine temp. You have to give it time to cool down between boosts. Adam Takamoto, Academy Class of 23. Yeah, are you pulling up my records? Zero confirmed kills. Look, lady, you can confirm everything I just killed. Okay, okay. We just haven't worked together before. Just trying to understand who you are. This is a cool game, dude.
Hey, I've reached a big asteroid, and there's definitely a cave system. Looks dark inside. Well, go in and keep reporting. Attack, did you get turned around? I need you to head the other way. Nope, I was just uh, checking out space. Yep, still dark and cold. I was wondering what I was doing. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. That's that's the game. I couldn't think of the name of it. Okay. Yeah, Macross. Wasn't that also an anime? Your shields will absorb all but weapons grade collisions, so don't worry about bumping into walls. Well, that's cool. You can also break. Just hold both thrust buttons at once. Your shields will absorb initial blows. They do need time to recharge. Get hit while your shields are down and you'll take permanent health damage. You'll see your shields represented as the blue bars on your HUD. The red bars indicate your health. got probes between you and the exit. Take them out before they report you to the destroyers. Just keep firing and moving. Uh, a repair kit? Good find. Your salvage unit can suck it up. Micro machines repair health you've lost in battle. Yoink. I have unlimited uh, uh, bullets. <laughs> Good. I found missiles nearby. It's on your way. Open your map to get a sense of it. Open your map.
Ching. I think I went too far. Just in time. Ah, uh, missiles are back online. More probes. Be ready to take them out. Probe spotted. Test your missiles on them. Hold the missile button to open the targeter. Hold the targeter over enemies to build missile locks. Keep holding to lock on more missiles. Release to fire. This is a good game, dude. I've set up the beacon. Get to it and get out. Oh, sweet, sweet freedom. Don't get too cocky. The beacon signal rings out loud and clear, and there's a good chance they'll have sent someone to investigate. Not to mention all these dreadnoughts. Beam, they're getting closer. Well, so are you. Stingray, he's guarding the beacon. Looks like Imperials got here first. Take him out. Cool game, man. I think that the next stream I do, uh, we will play this. I like this. Yeah, and uh, since I'm using the the uh, PlayStation uh, 4 controller, I can easily easily use the uh, the two thumbsticks.
I like uh, the, I like the uh, the uh, the I like the backgrounds here a lot. You made it back. I can't believe it. You killed at least. I have a plan. Fight the Imperials. Strike at their heart. Atac, you're the only pilot left. What? After the ambush, the fleet. They're all gone. And our ship, the Axelios, is running out of water, power, oxygen. Did you signal for help? Our long-range communications and navigation are offline. That's bleak. That's tough. I don't know what you'll do. You're our only hope for survival. Can you keep us alive while I get our systems back online? Okay. I may be a new pilot, but lucky for you, I'm amazing. You can count on me. <laughs> I'm amazing. Fingers crossed. I'm getting a signal. SOS, SOS. I was attacked by White Tuscan and pinned in a cave behind an overreactive Imperial turret. My shields are fried and I need extraction. Glad you like it. That's Crash. I got hey, Jack, it for, for your first 500 mission. gems. Right. Oh, you know what? Who knows how many gems I have? I never do that. I've had, uh, I've had uh, steam for God. Probably like 15 years or so. And uh, I've never ever went in there and... Uh, did the stuff with the gems, you know what I mean? Who knows what I could get? I should look. <laughs> okay. There's a vessel oh, in the so now, now, now you can go, okay, crash, so tell us where to point. go over here. Exactly who is this friend? A mercenary mechanic. Never trust a mercenary beam. This mercenary can make us weapons. Fine, I'll suspend my disbelief. Beam's mechanic friend crash. Is this unclear? Oh no, Beam. I understand. I understand everything. Space junk. Hey, Beam. What kind of person is Crash? He's a bit of a hermit. Keeps to himself. Likes the stuff he likes. Do you think he'll like me? Why not? Shields out. Owie. I got him. I was hitting the wrong buttons there. SOS. SOS. Calling any neutral parties within broadcast range. I am scuttled and require someone to take out an Imperial turret that has me holed up in this cave. I can reward you with weapons and parts. That's it. No more missiles. Receiving fire. No shields. SOS, SOS. Requesting assistance. I'm pinned in a cave with down shields by an Imperial turret. Take that turret out for me, and I'll give you the best weapon in my stash. Deals on everything else, too. Target destroyed. There, I got some, uh... Some weapons, at least. SOS, SOS. This guy never shuts up, huh? Extraction from this stupid cave. I'm pinned behind an overzealous Imperial turret, and my shield reactor is fried. Requesting immediate assistance. You will be rewarded. Eyes ahead. Ow, sharp. Enemy spotted. Yeah, no shields. Oh god, I'm in it. I'm in it. <laughs> I got killed. I got killed. Hey, there's my head. Oh, okay. It's just, it's not my head. It's just this. <laughs> I'm thirst. Dude, this game's awesome. I like it. Yeah, I'll definitely play this again um, the next stream. I'll definitely play this again the next stream. For sure. <laughs> oh boy. 
was that was something else, I tell you. <clears throat> but yeah, man, the Chupa, thank you for not only the game, but coming by here and hanging out with me. Uh, like I said, it's just a random stream for me today, but thank you again and thank you for uh, thank you for uh, hanging out and thank you for the game. So yeah, you're the man. Thank you a lot. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>